good morning students uh, so far we have discussed the typologies of political systems uh, supranational national subnational now let us look at the concept of types of political systems uh, the different models of governing systems are uh, the most popular governing systems uh, throughout the world the political system consists of both politics and governance and involves the law economy culture and the other social concepts the most popular political systems uh, that we know around the world can be reduced to a few simple core concepts they are democracy and monarchy republic authoritarianism or or we can say autocracy the the most popular political system throughout the world is democracy democracy is a system of government by the whole population or the eligible members of the state typically through elected representatives the type of government democracy is a type of government with which we are most familiar or it's a system in which citizens govern themselves either directly or indirectly the term democracy comes from the greek word that means the rule of the people in in abraham lincoln's uh, uh, stirring words in his address gettysburg speech he said government by the people for the people to the people through the people that is the most popular definitions of democracy uh, given by abraham lincoln democracy can be two types direct democracy indirect democracy direct democracy is a system in which every person has a right to as every every citizen has an equal say in the country in the workings of government in their government citizens elect their representatives and their those representatives rule and uh, they make laws and united states and india are the best examples of this kind and the second uh, kind of political system is the republic republic is nothing but another form of democratic system it's a state uh, it's a system of government in which the supreme power is held by the people and their elected representatives and that has an elected nominated president rather than a monarch actually so here the major difference you can find a nominated president a nominated a nominated president but a monarch cannot be found uh, in republic political system in theory a republic political system in which the government remains mostly subject to those governed some scholars define this political system in which the citizens legitimate the government in some cases a representative democracy or any form of democracy might be considered as a republic government so here the monarch actually is nominated the president is nominated is elected is nominated and the third type of political system is a monarchy it's a form of government in which one person rules typically a king or queen the authority also known as crown is typically inherited monarchy is a political system in which power resides in a family that rules from one generation to the next generation the power of family enjoys is traditional authority is traditional authority and many monarch command respect because their subjects bestow this type of authority on them royal families still rule today but their power has declined from century ago today the queen of england holds a largely a ceremonial substitutional position but her precedents on the same throne they wield much more power uh, in the history two types three types you can find monarch absolute monarchy and elective monarchy and non sovereign monarchy three types we can find in this kind of government and the third concept of political system is a communist government communism communism is a system of government in which the state plans and controls the economy the entire economy in the hands of state in the hands of the government and uh, it's often an authoritarian party holds power and the state controls the imposed and the state controls the economy in most cases communist state is based on the ideology pioneered by communists of karl marx and uh, friedrich engels and lenin communism the political and economic doctrine 
that aims to replace private property and a profit-based economy with public relationship, public ownership and uh, communal control, at least the major means of production that is mills, mines and factories is thus a form of socialism. Higher and more advanced is a higher and more advanced form of government according to its advocates. So this is you can find one of the most uh, one of the familiar kind one of the uh, important political systems throughout the world, Cuba and China, Russia are the best examples of this kind. And the fourth one is dictatorship, authoritarianism or total totalitarianism. And uh, it's a kind of government where one person rules or a group of people rule. And uh, where one person or group of people rule and decisions and take decisions with absolute power, disregarding inputs from others. Authoritarianism and totalitarianism are general terms of non-democratic system ruled by individual or group of individuals. They hold power and they exercise powers and to be more specific, the authoritarianism refers to political system in which an individual or group of individuals hold power, restricts or prohibits popular participation in governments and they repress dissent. Totalitarianism refers to political system that include all the features of authoritarianism that are even more repressive as they try to regulate and control all aspects of citizens, their lives and their factions. People can be imprisoned for deviating any acceptable practices imposed by authoritarians and uh, even people may be killed if they dissent in the mildest in the mildest ways so this is these are the four forms of uh, political systems democracy republic monarchy communism and dictatorship so thank you so much